What today's video is about is a very fun shopping challenge. Oh, this is my favourite thing. Uh-oh. Today, you're going to see how much difference it makes. Jamie got her own way, as usual. She's being cheeky. I am sh Are you shocked? Sure? You're buying that for Sienna? Yep. With a charity shop. What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From Jamie's house. Oh. I had to think where I was. I know it looks like a salon, but it's actually Jamie's house. This what are you is, doing to her? This is the first time I have done Jamie's hair in absolute years. Since she was a little one. And then she grew up and went, I do my own hair, mum. Now she's like, mum, do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mum now, do my hair. We have got some awesome stuff going on today, but we'll talk about that later. First, where are you coming live but not live from? Yes, let us know in the comments with the hashtag live but not live. I was really, really impressed with some of the interesting answers we got last time. Let's have more of that silliness. To be fair, the world has had way too much seriousness over the last couple of years. We need a bit of silliness. And how are you doing, Jamie? Is your hair all done now? Are you happy? I don't know if it's... No. What are we saying, Jamie? No. I'm trying to She's do not a She's not happy. You can't my hair's not long enough. Oh, but it looks nice. Oh, it looks nice. No. Uh-oh. Do you want your money back? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, that looks... Actually, yeah, you've done a much better job. You should be your own salmon person. You've done a better job. Well done. Let me in. Let me in. I'm going to do something right now. I bet I can make Jamie sing. What do you think, Bob? Do you think I can do it? I don't know. I bet I can make you sing. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. All her power to resist. No. It was my... How's it go? It was my... <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know it. It was my wedding day. Mm. It was my... And there wasn't a cloud in the sky. <laughs> Come on. This is a proper my mum moment. <laughs> Oh god! I'm sorry. It's just every time we come here, Jamie's singing that song. I was convinced you would you would. Do you know what the it. problem was? Is that you queued up and said, "I bet I can make her sing," and so she automatically goes, "No, you can't. I'm just going <laughs> to defy you." Yeah. That isn't that your favourite song? No. Which is your favourite then? What from from en that Encanto? Oh no! I've just realised anyone that hasn't seen that movie is going to be like so confused right now. It's a good yeah. movie though. Three mumbling people in a house. She forced us to watch it. But this video is not about a particular movie. It's not about our daughter's hair and how she's unsatisfied by it being done by her mother. And it's not about me forcing her to sing. That's next week, isn't it? Yeah, the whole video, 24 <laughs> hours forcing Jamie to sing. But what today's video is about is a very fun special shopping challenge that we are doing. You guys like the last one, the comparison with Costco and Tesco, so we're going to be doing something very different today. There's a town about half an hour away from Jamie where they have about, I swear it's about five or six charity shops, isn't it Jamie? About that, yeah. They're called charity shops in this country, in other countries you might know them as thrift stores. Also recently we've um, done a few videos about money saving because a lot of you say you're on a low budget now and money saving tips are just good anyway because the more, the more money you can save, the less you have to work, the and more a lot freedom of, you have, you know. And a lot of you guys expressed how beneficial the last one was. So we want to keep on coming. We're not just about promoting freedom and inspiring fun. We're about helping people out as well. So hopefully this can help you guys as well. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a series we're doing at the moment. I've got to the environment too. Exactly. The we're trying to help the environment. We're just helping all around. We're doing our best. If you're wondering why Jamie's head keeps like turning, it's because she's hiding a baby behind. Is she breast you breastfeeding no. behind my breastfeeding behind your back? There's worse things your kid could do behind your back, isn't it? Yeah, true, true. Joe just helps himself to Briscoe biscuits. We do it every time we're here. Oh, <gasps> <Shh>. dang. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, so it's a bit of a series at the moment we're doing because you know it help it helps you guys out. And Jamie, you but you've saved so much money buying secondhand things, haven't you? I don't think I've really bought barely anything brand new for us. I know. Yeah. It makes so much difference. So you two are going to go out with Jojo and do all the shopping fun. And we're going to leave Baby with Grandy Bob. That's me. Yeah, we're going to take you guys with us. Come on. So you're heading out the door now and you're driving, yeah? Jamie thinks she's driving. I I've just driving. I've seen you've got these out. I am driving. Got those out. I didn't I didn't hear any question of can I drive though? I, I don't think have to ask. I think I should drive today, Jamie. When you have your own car, are you just gonna assume to drive ours? No. Can we drive your new car? Well yeah, mum can. 
But I can't. Mum can. Yay! Unbelievable. You mean insurance one? Yeah. Can I drive? Insurance mum can. Can I drive it? Yeah, you can drive it. Okay, so here we go. Jamie got her own way, as usual. Are you excited? Yeah. You might find some good little treasures. Yeah, you find some real treasures in charity shops. You do. You all, you're really good at finding awesome things, aren't you? Yep. In you go. Okay, we're at the first charity shop. Oh, toys, 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 Jojo. Yeah. Toys, toys, toys. This guy, what's that CBB show called? It's what's like, it called? It's like one with the submarine. Oh, oh I can't remember. I'll comment below what that show's called, guys. Yeah, please. Oh, what's that, Jamie? It's Oh, Dougie! Let's have a look, Jamie. Oh, Jojo, go and put that by the checkout. Go and give it to the lady, and we're going to get some more stuff. So every single item here, all these baby clothes mm -hmm. and kids' clothes, are a pound. Oh. Okay, so we got quite a bit of stuff at the checkout already, and Jamie's just found some clothes. Nice hat we have. What have you got there? Penguin. Who are you buying? Sienna. You're buying that for Sienna? Yep. Okay, should we go and check out then? Yes. Right, okay. Next one. That's it, get to the bottom, Jojo. See if there's anything good down there. What's that, Jojo? It's the thing where you like try cupping the ball. You've got, You've got to get the ball in there. Yeah. Ooh, football boots. Yeah. How much are they? Two pounds. Well, they're about 70 quid in the shops. They're in good condition as well. Go to charity shops to mm. get stuff because you can find bargains in charity shops. True. Another one. That was hard work, bringing all that stuff to the car. I know. That's why I stopped filming, because I actually couldn't hold the camera and all the stuff at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we had to take two trips to the car. So yeah, we'll show, we'll get back and show you guys what we got. And let's see if we can figure out how much money we've saved as well. Mm. Okay, we are back, guys. We've actually put Jojo upstairs. He's playing on a game because some of the stuff we had to secretly buy him and it's gonna be for his birthday. Quite a few really awesome things mm. that we had to go separately and get in secret. But also we've noted down how much everything cost and we found out how much the price of the things are new as well. Just to show you the comparison and how much better off you can be when you buy things secondhand. Two of these things we actually got the other day, but I really wanted to include them because we got them from the same shop yeah. that we went to today. One of them is this, which is in amazing condition. There is a hammer for the xylophone. What are they called? Ash has already been uh, playing with it because we got it the other day. So she's um, already nabbed the little xylophone hammer thing. Has all the alphabet things on it, clock, everything. Um, a chalkboard. We got this for eight pounds. Now, I actually got these for Astrid's birthday, but we're gonna give them to her early because, mm. you know. They don't really understand when their birthday is, do they? No, not this age. <laughs> but these, brand new, are 54.99. Did you know that, Jamie? No, I didn't actually know that. <laughs> yeah, and this one, it's a walker. It's actually got different things than that one has. It's wooden, and she can walk along with it. That was also eight pounds, and brand new, they are 55.99. So between these two alone, this one you saved 47 pounds, this one 48 pounds. That's crazy. I know. I didn't even realize they were that expensive to be they honest. They are, because they're wooden as well. And apparently when you buy wooden toys in charity shops, it's double zero waste. Mm -hmm. Because it's wooden mm -hmm. and then it's second hand as well. Next, we got this for Jojo. I'm trying to be quiet because this is for Jojo's birthday. He is obsessed with card games and it's it's a book and then you've got a pack of cards and then some various other things. It's never been opened as well. Because some things you can find in charity shops They're brand, brand new. new. So we got this for a pound. And it says on the back, it's 14.99 yeah. price. So that's 14 pound saving. I'm just rounding up. Next thing, we've got this Mr. Oh. This is also for Jojo, and his birthday is in June, so it'll be really good for the for the summer. A Mr. Frosty ice cream maker. 
So we bought this for how much? A pound. A pound. Um, there was a whole section in one of them. There was like a section. Yeah, it was like a discounted section. Where everything was a pound. I think they put them for high prices before, like three or four pounds. But they actually don't do this brand new anymore. We tried to find the equivalent, which is like a Mr. Frosty, Frosty uh, slushy maker, which was 24 pounds 20. There you go. So we saved 23 pounds 20. I'm really excited <laughs> to use that as well. Next. We got this. This is for Jojo's birthday as well. It's a bottle flip game. He loves bottle flipping. This was in the pound section as well. And we looked online and this is $15.99. I did not even know they did a board game of bottle flipping, but he's going to absolutely love that. This, oh, this is actually quite cool. This looks cool, doesn't it? So this game, you start off with a certain amount of bricks mm. and then you have to fill in the rest with the other ones. It's like Tetris. It's called Catamino. And this was expensive. I swear this has never been used. Don't, no. How nice is that box? This is a dope game. Yeah. So we got this for three pounds online. It was 32 pounds 63. Can believe that. So we saved 29 pounds 63 with that. That's actually for Jojo's birthday as well. So I bought this for a pound 50 and it goes on the headrest. So when you look in your rear view mirror, you can look through this and see the baby if they're rear facing. That's so good. And that'd be perfect timing for when you start driving exactly. as well. But we paid a pound 50 for this. And they are 13 99 for that same brand. Exactly the same one. So you say 12 50? Yep. Nice. Next one, stand up, sit down game. I paid a pound for this, stand up. It just looks really good. It's a quiz game, but like a board game. So if you game. think the answer's A, stand up. If you think the answer's B, you sit down. So that's actually better for like getting kids to move around, yeah. isn't it, rather than sitting down. But yeah, that's for Jojo's birthday. So see what I mean? I got a lot of stuff for Jojo's birthday. I've spent hardly anything on his birthday and I've got him lots of things. So it was a pound and we found that online for 23.99. We saved 23 quid. Oh, this is something different that we found. That little projector. Oh yeah. It's never been used, never been opened. It's a smartphone projector. So you put your phone into it. Yeah, it's and like, it like magnifies your phone onto the wall. Yeah, and it's made of cardboard as well. So yeah. double zero waste again. <laughs> Jojo hasn't got a smartphone, but he can use ours if he wants to watch something and put it on his bedroom wall. So that's another thing for his birthday. But that was three pounds. And again, never been used. And we saw them online for 11.88. Eight pound 88 saving. This we found, that was also eight pound and it's Illusions Busy Book. We could not find this online. No. Anywhere. It was a pound. It's got lots of optical illusions in it and Jojo loves optical illusions. But I reckon something like this would have been, I don't know, brand new. 11, 12 maybe. Yeah, should we yeah. just estimate that one then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like 10, I said 10. At a bare minimum it would have been 10. 10 pounds, okay. So we've saved nine pounds then. We'll just estimate some of them. Oh, busy little hamster. <laughs> I found this and I, I showed it to Jamie. It's a hamster. Well, it's not a real hamster. It's like a little battery powered hamster, hamster in a ball. Goes around in a wheel and uh, we thought it'd be really funny for the cats. For the cats. And this was a pound as well. That was in that pound section. That was 13 pounds online. That's crazy. So yeah, 12 pounds saved. Oh, this is my favorite thing. Do, 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 do. These are only available, well, I think they're only available in Disneyland. This is perfect condition. I found this in like this tub where everything was a pound. In just but it was hidden under some clothes. Yeah, I think it was, it, they, they had cuddly toys in this tub, clothes, everything was a pound. These are the ones from Disneyland Paris. It says Disneyland Paris on the back. This is the 20th anniversary one. Sam had one of these. When I took Sam and you to Disneyland Paris, I think you were three, Sam was five, and you had a, a white coloured one he had one exactly like this and they were 30 euros then so they're probably about 40 euros now to buy and this one as well is a collectible and it's just in perfect condition as well also this cost a pound you could sell this on ebay and make money, and make money. that is a collectible as well so you could probably i don't know you could probably make about 20 pounds with that but anyway, so I, I would say they're probably, I don't know for sure, but in Disneyland, I think they're about uh, 40, 40 pounds. So you save 39 pounds with that. <laughs> okay, we have got a lot of books and we've got some amazing books. We've got Gruffalo's Child, Gruffalo, the Mr. Men book. All of these books were about four for a pound. And we've looked on the back of most of these books, the Gruffalo ones, nearly all of them are 5.99. So, 
Add up how many books are there. One, two. 24, 25. We paid about six pounds for all these books. So six pounds each, six times how many is there? 25. What's six times 25? 150 pounds. 150 pounds, like that's just hit me. books. Wow. That is a saving of 144 pounds. We have a cat joining us for the next bit. This is a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse camper and they are expensive. You haven't got the, the figurines to go into them, but they're, I've looked online, they're about 15 quid to buy yeah. the figures. That was a pound on, online. They are 35 pounds. So even if you bought the figures for 15, you'd still be saving. You'd still be saving. Oh, look, Jojo bought this for Sienna. Ah, here we go. <laughs> the VTech bar, it was three pounds and online. <laughs> And it works, at least it works. Let's go. Let's go to so this was 38 pounds online, so you save 35 pounds. Oh, this is really cool, an engineering set. This looks awesome. I thought this was gonna be about, I don't know, like 15 pounds, it was two pounds 50. And online, they are 20 pounds, so 17 pound 50 saved. Okay, next thing was this VTech telephone, which was two pounds 25 and we actually can't find that online no but there are similar ones that are about 30 pounds i mean vtex stuff's pretty expensive but it's really good quality stuff look look what the wheels do to the phone on top i don't know if you can see it but as i spin the back wheels the phone goes onky turvy uh, are these toys for you jamie or astrid you saved about 27 pounds in that one Oh, this is this is one of my favourites. You, you, Jamie was so excited when we found this. This wasn't in one of those pound tubs. This was in one of the pound tubs. I don't think charity shops sometimes realise like how much things are. <laughs> it's, it's a bouncer, so Ashley sits on it. It's like the old space hopper things when we used to bounce. You know, when we were kids. Which, when we were preparing for, to film, she was already on this guy. Yeah, she. As soon as we walked in the door, she was on this thing. Some of them are about twenty-eight pounds. Some of them are fifty. Mm -hmm. So they're about thirty pounds. I think this one would have been about thirty pounds new, and it's in amazing condition. And that was a pound. I mean, crap. That's Not crazy. Candle. So you saved twenty-nine pounds. <laughs> this is like a brand new. It was never opened. I opened it obviously to look at it. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh cutlery silver cutlery set but this one has a bottle as well it's uh, like a flask like a food flask just for the cutlery alone it was 25 pounds 20. Jack, that was just for the cutlery i couldn't actually find the you one that had that. This. that's a saving of 22 pounds 20. oh where's that fractions going this has never been open it's still got plastic around it and oh, we couldn't find this online but it looks like a really good fra it's a fractions game it's like a learning game for kids so that would be really good for homeschooling jojo and then we'll pass it on to you when you start schooling astrid you paid three pounds for it three pounds but i think i can't find it online but i think that'd be about a tenner what do you think yeah oh my goodness those football boots in amazing condition they've barely been used two pounds online they are 29.95 that's a 20, 27 pounds 95 saving. Where's that bracelet gone? She tried to steal my bracelet. <laughs> it's mine. The, the, I love this about charity shops. The people that work at the charity shops, they just don't know what no. certain things are worth. Occasionally you can find crystals. This is an amethyst bracelet. I don't know if you can see it guys. I was in a crystal shop yesterday and something like this was sort of between 30 and 40 pounds. Like this was three pounds. So yeah, that's a saving of about, I'd say about 30 pounds saving. We found a clothes, it, kids clothes. Kids clothes for a pound each. A pound um, each. This is a Benetton a denim jacket that was a pound. Yeah. That would be at least 30 pounds, at yeah. least. It's a little dress, you could, this is so cute, a little, onesie i can only do estimations with clothing but these clothes so it was a pound each so it's one two three four five six six pounds which probably would have been i don't know should we say about 70 pounds, 70 pounds. that's been generous as well buying those clothes you have saved about 
69 pounds okay so that is all of the stuff that we got apart from these that is all the stuff we got today but jamie wanted to show you wanted to add something else to the yes. list she's being cheeky okay we'll show you what it is guys this is what i got yesterday this was second hand i paid 24 pounds for it and the guy also delivered it here to me for that price wow it's a kid craft kitchen and brand new they're about 200 pounds yeah so jamie really wanted to bring this into the video because this is big yeah and for this to just get thrown away when it's got tons of life left into it for another child yeah it's crazy that is another really good tip sick of the day. go on places like Facebook, Marketplace, eBay. eBay. Tree. Yeah, because that's where you got this from. I got Facebook. this from Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, and it's just, it's in such good condition mm -hmm. as well. And people just, they don't know what to do with these things. No. They don't want to throw them away, but they, you know. But I also got, what, tons of food items, pans, like mm. the little toaster and the coffee machine. I got that all included in the 25, uh, 24 pounds that I paid for it. So it's just. Yeah definitely worth it so you saved about 180 quid probably a bit more than that because i don't know how much all the food items are mm. and stuff like that. obviously you can't no well say you saved about say about about 200 quid about 200 about 200 pounds so you've seen everything guys that we got we're going to be chilling with jamie now before we head home so when we head home we will total it all up and tell you the exact total savings that we made and all that stuff see you then yes we're home now guys shopping is exhausting but it can also be very beneficial if you if you shop at the right place yeah. you guys did well when i've looked at the savings that you've made here it is unbelievable yeah i don't think even i can imagine how good it could be how much of a difference it could be with a charity shop i've got a tip of the day Tidy tip of the day is it grab your husband's arm as firmly it's as possible? It's literally just come through me. It came through me from above. It was like, it just zapped itself straight into my brain. It must be the people living upstairs. <laughs> Go to a place that has lots of charity shops like this town. Because I think what they do... Worcester. Worcester's got loads. Yeah, we always get a good one there, don't we? Yeah, because obviously the shop, the charity shops are in competition with each other so i find <laughs> in towns where there's more the things are cheaper okay mm. there's your tip of the day just came to me thanks people upstairs okay so time to share with you guys how much we saved on this so out of the what, 30 odd things we've got the total spent was 89 pounds 75 Ooh. now when you compare that to these items if they were brand new and a lot of the stuff we got was in is almost as good as new condition right and that price is also including the kitchen right yes that jamie got so when you bear that in mind it would have brand new cost 974 pounds and 80 pence that's the total of all of that stuff hang on nearly a grand yes you right really yeah all of that stuff <laughs> yeah 907 hang on no 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 not nine what 974 pounds 80 pence £974.80 You need it said any more times? That's how much all that stuff would have cost? Yeah Whoa! I'm, I am... Sh are you shocked? I am... I think she is I'm not because I just did all the workings out so I've already had my moment But no, no I mean I never thought it'd be that much Because that's, well, that's almost... That's like nine times as much And so that means a total saving of £885 and five pence. That's what we saved. And forgive Bob if the working out is wrong. You better forgive me. He's the one that's done it all. I did something. You can blame the calculator on my phone. Hang on. Forgive the calculator on my phone. You shouldn't have used the calculator. I'm gonna spend all that time working out. I was actually, I was doing these ones earlier. I was doing the, the single items, doing the working out. So actually they're probably most of them wrong. Yeah, so, so forgive us. Forgive. We mess up together, don't we? So I hope you have found this video helpful, guys. We love sharing lots of money-saving tips. As you guys have mentioned before, you'd like to hear more and more. We will try and do more and more in future videos. But let us know in the comments below how you found this helpful and any other tips you may have with regards to shopping, with regards to shopping at charity shops or any other retail shopping tips. Let us know in the comments below. But that is it where we end today's video. We really, really appreciate all of you guys watching. And we will see you all in the next video. But just remember, no matter what's happening in the world, always stay free and keep rising.